Hey guys, Sarah Lang here. I just wanted to show you how to use MailChimp automation. Um, just so you know, you do have to have a paid version of MailChimp for this. It's only $10 a month, and I use it all the time. I definitely send out at least one or two emails a week, and I have lists um, that are being built to send automatic emails out. Um, so to me, it's worth it. And if you use Google Authenticator, which is just a two-step sign-in, it takes a dollar off a month, so I pay nine dollars a month for um, MailChimp. Um, so before we even go to automation, we're going to have to start at list. So I'll just show you a few of the lists that I do have. Um, so I have my Team Beachbody customers, which is um, I add I add people as soon as they become a customer of mine, whether they're a free customer in my ongoing group or someone who's actually purchased a program. I have my Healthy on a Budget email series, which is a series that I set up. Um, it automatically sends out three emails three days in a row um, with videos and things like that on budgeting, meal planning, things like that. Um, I have a list here called New Team Beach Body Customers. That's what I use for my free uh, leads. So once I get a free lead, I add them to this list, and it sends out basically like an intro email. 21 day fixers, whenever I have someone sign up and buy the 21 day fix, I add them to this list and then it actually sends out an email. I can show you some examples in just a moment. Um, and then these are two webinar lists that I have, uh, healthy lifestyle and college webinar and build your confidence like a boss. Um, those are lists that I used and when I advertise for them on my Facebook page, I put a sign up link that brought them to a form where they had to put their first, last name, and email. And as soon as they signed up for that list, they got a welcome email. And then later that evening, they got the link to join the webinar. So that's just basically the list that I have. And either you are adding people manually to this list, or you have a sign up link. Um, so say I click on Healthy Lifestyle in College Webinar. And right here you click on sign up forms um, and basically you just create a general form so if you want people to be able to sign up instead of you adding them to the list um, you basically just pick what you want the form to say usually I just do first last name and email if you want to know who referred you or where they found your website, you can do things like um, you can add other text boxes or you can have them add their birthday or something like that. Um, but then up here, it gives you the email, or sorry, the URL. So then when I was advertising for my webinar, at the end I would just say be sure to sign up here and you'll get all the information in your email. So to learn more about automation, I actually want to build something right now for my um, healthy holiday survival guide. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to automation and then, oh sorry, before we do that you have to create a list. It's okay if no one's on it yet. So I'm going to create a list and it's going to be called um, Holiday survival guide. I put my from email and my name. And then usually you just have to say like, you know, thank you for your interest in, um, Well, I can, let's see. You can just say something like, you'll be receiving a guide to help you survive the holiday season while looking and feeling awesome. So that when they sign up and they're wondering how, how they got on the list, 
Um, I usually like to get a daily summary in my email of who's subscribed. Okay, so now I have my list. No one's on it yet, that's fine. I'm going to go to automation and you click create automation workflow. So you have to select a list, so that's why I had to do that, and you click Holiday Survival Guide. And this page is actually updated since I last set one up. So what I'm gonna do is do a welcome message. And usually you have to name, this isn't what they see, it's just for, for my own purposes. Okay. Then I can go back and edit this. Um, so trigger workflow when subscribers are imported. Yes. So that means that even if the person doesn't click my link to sign up themselves, if I import them into this list, they'll get the, it'll trigger the workflow as well. So whether I enter them manually or they sign up themselves. So now you click add email and it comes up with an automation, automation email. Um, you go ahead and design it. So for the email subject, I um, will go over to this campaign I just used for m all my customers and that's how I sent them their guide. Um, so all I did was for that subject, sorry, I just want to use the same subject because it's a good one. Who's done? Thought you might want this holiday survival guide. And I use little emojis. Fun. Okay. So now that's all set up. Or sorry. Not thought you might want this. Here's your, because they signed up for it. Here's your holiday survival guide. Now, I'm just going to use the same holiday survival guide I just sent out to all my customers. So you guys can see it. Make sure I don't need to change anything. Um, so this is like my header, I use my emails. I might change it soon just to switch it up. Um, top, I'm so excited to share this with you. Hey, blah, blah, blah. Just some details. I created a guide which you can access here. Um, so they can click here and it'll bring them right to the guide that I made. Um, I told them to take time to print it out and answer the questions, blah, blah, blah. So then next. Okay, so then it says, on what days should this email be sent? I click every day because I want it to send out as soon as the person does it. What time should emails be sent? As soon as possible. But you could also change it to sending at a certain time of day every day. So um, at you know six a.m. every day, anyone that has subscribed to the um, the workflow will get the email. But I like it to be sent out as soon as possible. That way, they basically get the email immediately once they've subscribed. Um, you can segment it. I know Tatiana was talking about that earlier. You could choose like VIPs, you could choose um, people based on certain categories or characteristics. Um, click save and continue. So then say this is going to, um, right here it says one day after workflow is triggered. I want to change that delay. I want it to be immediately after the workflow is triggered. So as soon as they sign up, they get that email. And then one important thing is that this isn't going to go until you confirm it and activate it. So just so you know, you could add another email. So you could say three weeks 
after the previous email is sent, they're going to get another one that is basically checking in on them. Hey, have you been using the tips from the Holiday Survival Guide? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm not going to mess with that one yet. I'm not putting up the form yet, so I'm not going to worry about it just yet. But I'll probably do some kind of check-in email two or three weeks later. Um, I can design that email later. Click Next. And I'll just go back and delete that one so I can show you guys. Okay, so now I can click Next. And I can say Start Workflow. So now what I can do is go back to automation and check on that. So I want to make sure that I set up the trigger right. So it says selected list, holiday survival guide, selected workflow, welcome message. Send a welcome email after a subscriber joins your list. So that's exactly what I wanted. So I'm just going to save and exit and go back to lists. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'll be um, going into my holiday survival guide list and I will be going to sign up forms. I will make a general form. And you know I can add a little message up here. Sign up here to get your totally free guide on how to um, get through the holiday season while feeling or while looking good and feeling fabulous. I'll probably change it, who knows. Probably try and just stay consistent with what I've been saying in my posts and things like that. So you can edit all this and make it fancy, but basically I have email address, first name, and last name. And then they just click subscribe to list. Then as soon as they subscribe to that list, they will be sent that email that I just made. So then all I have to do is tomorrow when I make a post about this, um, I'll probably use like the first the picture from the first um, part of my guide. You can see that right there. Here's my guide. Um, I use Tatiana's as a guide. Um, it was really helpful. Obviously, use my own wording, things like that. Use some mostly the same format and order of things. And yeah, so when I post about it tomorrow, I just put in this link, sign up here, and you get your free guide. So hopefully this helps for you guys for automation. That way you don't have to keep going back to your list and sending it to the people who haven't gotten it yet. If they subscribe or if they ask you to add them to this list, you don't have to send anything out. Your automation in MailChimp is just going to send it out for you. So hopefully that helps. And if you guys have any other questions, just comment, let me know, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks. Have a nice night. I just have to stop recording.